Ah, hello, 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 my friends. How are we doing out there today? I hope you're doing good today. I hope you're out there doing some art, doing it is whatever you need to do to get out that tension. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't work it out, well, you'll get tense. That's how it goes, man. But anyways, we're having some audio issues still, and uh, the little road mic, it served me well for a few years. But now it's hissing like crazy. It's like it's turned into a snake. It's like But the show must go on, people, regardless of technical difficulties. So we're gonna use the onboard mic today. And I think it'll sound fine indoors. It might be a little tinny. Outdoors might not sound as good, but you know what? We must make content. We must move forward, regardless of the trials and tribulations we experience. And you should approach your art that way as well, too. Don't let yourself get defeated. Don't let them defeat you, fam. You know, especially in the graffiti world, you know, it's very much that hip hop crab bucket mentality that exists. And a lot of people don't like to see other people succeed. I'm not like that. I want you to succeed. I want you to be great. I want you to be better. I want the next generation to run the game and exceed the previous generation. Because when that happens, we get to another plane, a higher existence, a higher bar to reach for the next generation after that. But anyways, so someone had asked it, oh, it was Triple A, Triple B, who commented on the previous video. And he had asked about the gold chromes by Montana. And you know, I haven't actually tried them yet. So I grabbed a few right here and I was like, why don't we make a video? I figure we'll do a, a straight letter fill it in with some chrome and we can kind of comment on how it looks, how it sprays, how it comes out, um, and my take on these colors. I also brought some other colors too. I figured we'd do a straight letter, an old school character, and uh, you know, I like to kick it old school, baby. You know how I do. Uh, but anyways, I thought it'd be fun to check it out, see how they spray, and then add a few other colors into the mix as well. I got some Fire Rose, I got some Celtic, I got some Surgery, I got Gobi, I got the black in the Montana Black, but I noticed something else too. Uh, Montana Black has a Snow White and a White. I've always been using the white, but didn't even realize that snow white existed. So we're going to try both of those out today and use them as shines, just to see how they compare to each other. Because I just don't really know. I, I don't know. So we're going to learn today. And when we're done with that, we'll do a quick little character painting, and I think it'll come out really good. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a minute. At the wall, our skunk works. All right, guys, first up is the Montana Gold Chrome. This is M3000, and it comes stock with a gray dot. Now, the first thing you want to do with the Montana can is, yes, shake your can, and two, pull off the cap, and right below, you will see a little stopper. That keeps the can from actuating and shipping. Well, it's supposed to. Anyways, let's do a couple quick lines. Again, this comes stock with the gray dot, as you guys can see right there. Hopefully that's in focus. All right, quick little spray. Let's see how it looks. Wow, that is extremely shiny and surprisingly thick for a gold. Wow. Now you do see some overspray, but surprisingly little overspray for a metallic color. I can't believe how reflective that is though. It's amazing stuff. Let's see how I can do for detail work here. Surprisingly little overspray. I don't know if I like this cap, although I've never particularly cared for gray dots. Right, guys, this is the Montana Black Gold Chrome. Now this is their high output paint. As you can see, it comes with the orange dot with the black hood. Also, this has the stopper. So make sure you pull that bad boy out before you get painting. It might be a little confusing once you press it down and nothing comes out, right? So make sure you go ahead and pull that off. So let's do a quick little test spray here. Now again, this is a fat cap. And I gotta tell you, this this really lays down thick and it's extremely, extremely reflective. Here's the deal, this actually looks nicer, in my opinion, than the Burner Gold. 
The Burner Gold is a dope can, but this comes out much thicker, much smoother. Uh, definitely more overspray, but it is a fat cap, of course. Um, we're gonna go ahead and write the word mock, M-O-C-K. I thought it'd be a fun word to write. And um, like I said, the first two letters, Montana Black, Gold Chrome. Second two letters, Montana Gold, Gold Chrome. So let's see how it goes. All right, now we have the Montana Gold with the Lego cap. We're gonna go ahead and start doing our outlines. This is gonna be the, the good test, because then I can see them side by side and see if there's any difference in the color, how they paint. Uh, obviously, this will probably be a lower pressure output, but uh, you know, there might be some other differences I haven't noticed yet. So this will give us a good opportunity to see those. All right, guys, we got both of the fills laid in and they both look quite nice. But honestly, I don't see a big difference in the tone or anything. I think they're matched up quite perfectly. And I will have to say, as far as golds go, they lay on nice and thick. They don't drip, um, you get even coverage. And boy, does it cover. This is a top gold. I haven't used a lot of golds lately that I've been happy with. Burner gold was probably the one I was the most happy with but most other golds can be a little disappointing. The Rust-Oleum gold is good too, but these are amazing. The sheen, the coverage, uh, just the way that it looks all together. It's, it's not like any gold I've used before. I like them quite a bit. Now let's go ahead and do the outline. I'm gonna use the Montana Black Black, and I'm just gonna use the stock tip. We're going fat cap outline, boys. Let's pretend we're on a train. A subway train somewhere in Europe. All right, dope. I went ahead and got an outline and I noticed something. This, this bit was supposed to be way smaller, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's just way too deaf. Happy accidents, my friends. Um, so let, let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about this. The black went over really nice. There are a few spots where the gold was really heavy that I did notice it eating through. Would you notice it on a train going by at 50 miles an hour? Definitely not. All in all, it did quite well. Quite impressed. So let's get going. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and start lacing in our 3D. What I think I'm gonna do is just do a blocking 3D going to the left. So it'll be a 3D coming out like this. Uh, but I'm not gonna make it very thick because I only got one can of black. So I'll just do maybe like, maybe like a finger, a finger length line and then we'll make, make our 3D from there. Like this. 3Ds are really simple. So just make a short line like this. Fill that in like that. There you go. Another one right there. Start filling in your areas, boys. All right, guys, so we went ahead and got our outline in and it's looking pretty nice. Uh, definitely clean enough for a hit off on the street, a little dub or whatever. But let's take a look at how these things cut back because that's something that people might want to see. And I'm going to use what's left of this uh, Montana Gold because it's the lower pressure version. We're going to use the stock tip and see if we can cut back some of these spots here. Just to see, just to see if we can clean them up. Let's see how much overspray we get. Wow. Wow. Very minimal, that's what we're getting. Holy cow. Let's cut this right here, because that needs to be more like... Lordy, lordy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this fire rose a shot here. Let's put on a respirator. All right, guys, we got great coverage out of that red. I'm quite happy with it. In fact, I think it covers better than that flame blue red we used last week in the Instagram live stream. Much better coverage than the flame blue. How does it stack up against the rest of it? I don't know. Maybe we should also do a red shootout soon. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. Anyways, um, we have to put some shines on this bad boy. So I have a can of 
white, regular white, and the snow white. Now here's, here's what I can figure out so far just by looking at it. It looks like the white is more of a natural white, and the snow white is more like a snow wedding cake. Real bright white. So let's do a couple quick shines. First with the white, and then the snow white. Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so we're at the point where we're gonna go ahead and start lacing in our character. And uh, I'm pretty pumped right now because I thought I was out of that orange roller and turns out I actually had some. So I was able to go in and clean up some of the messy parts of the, the wall, you know, so no more uh, unsightly stuff hanging out from underneath, which is very nice. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's gonna tidy up things a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get cracking on the character right now. Uh, we're gonna do an old school character and basically, Old school characters are, they're pretty simple. I like going with a more simple look. I think it looks more traditional, but it's entirely up to you. The world is your oyster. Um, also, when we do the more traditional characters, I think you get a better appreciation for how the paint lays down. You can see it on a nice solid fill, and it lets you guys at home get a better interpretation. Because I'm really curious how this goby, how this goby goes down. I thought it was a nice shade for the skin tone. Now the thing is, is this comes stock with the orange fat cap and I gotta tell you it's actually my favorite cap and I wish well I don't know if we can get these individually in 10 packs from Montana if we can't request please so yes I would love to get these but it's not the best cap for a character so I have I have a gray dot right here came on the chrome gold from Montana gold now, now the main focus of your old school character is going to be the head and the hand. They'll be like, they're always doing a face like this, like. So, <laughs> oh, that probably looked terrible. So, when you're doing your old school character, try to put the emphasis on the head and the hand. The body can kind of just be like a form, like a like a lumpy a pillow. It looks like a pillow, basically. Um, not unlike the Von Bode characters, or Von Bode, or tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing off. Uh, but anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it in with the goby, but I think we'll switch to the fat cap. What do you guys think? Oh wait, we got some Lego caps. Hold on one second. Oh, hey, what's going on guys? All right, so I'm kind of guesstimating where my splash is gonna fill in. And I only got a little bit of this red left. So we're, what we're gonna do is just kind of fill in those areas where it'll lay down nicely. And then we can kind of build our character around that. That way I don't waste too much of this red. We'll see. Um, but I'm about to go ahead and start filling it in. One thing I wanna mention is make sure you do your, the whites of the eyes first. That way when you start laying the color, it'll be nice and sharp, nice and clean. So let's get this filled in real quick. Hear that? It's like tss, 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 tss. it's about to die. Let's set this down. All right, let's go ahead and fill that in. I need my mask. Ah, there we go. Oh, and again, we're using Gobi and the Lego cap. Lego. All right, let's fill it in. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. All right, the Gobi laid down nice and cleanly. But these taupe, is it a taupe, is it a taupe? Maybe I'm wrong, I think it's a taupe. <laughs> these type of shades tend to cover pretty well. So I'm not surprised. It's a good middle of the road, American mutt skin tone. Kind of like me, American mutt. <laughs> Looks a lot like an old school Krylon color that I used to use for skin tones. I don't remember what it was called though. I think it was in the Make It Suede line. Maybe someone could comment. I forget things. Uh, but the shade is, its uh, it seems very familiar to me. All right guys, let's go ahead and color in his shirt. We're gonna be using Celtic. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and start outlining the character. I'm just gonna mask up for a bit and we'll get cracking, we'll speed through this and then we'll get to the closeout.
All right, dope guys, let's go ahead and start putting his hat in. What I'm gonna do is a Kangol style cap, and we got a can of surgery right here, surgery. Check this color out, it's like surgical gloves. Oh man, it's so nice. Let me mask up and fill it in real quick. All right, guys, I think it came out pretty good. We got a nice little combination of color on the character. I'm really digging that skin tone on him, by the way, too. It's like kind of topish color. Uh, what, what did we call it again? We'll double check at the end of the video. The golds look really good, too. I'm really happy with the way that they lay down. Um, honestly, I don't see a difference in how they lay down the paint. They both seem pretty much the same. Line work was really good. Loving the black, black. The black, black is really good. The whites, uh, they both work really good for the shines, but if you want that real crispy white you gotta go with the snow white on your shines I think we should do another white test video because we haven't really delved into these two whites too much in this video and I think that needs to be done a couple thoughts here if you're going to be doing a character old-school like this make sure that you get those little t-shirt flaps see that right there the little overlaps on the shirt right there even got them on the hat you see them up there the little overlaps and of course the big fat eyebrow that's basic basically a bit uh, don't forget to make the eyes nice and symmetrical and clean. Sorry about that. That's my ambiance here. <laughs> and don't forget to have a nice big chin. Facial hair is always a good one, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of left him clean cut. He's a clean cut guy. He likes to stay clean cut. Anyways, let's go back to the warehouse and uh, do a little closeout and we'll talk about these colors. Oh, hey. Welcome to my other office. I was just testing out the hand selector book with the style file brush tip markers. You know, I never really was a fan of brush tips uh, until probably this year, I'd say. And I gotta tell you, I really like these better than the Molotov brush tips. They're softer, more pliable. But this will be in another review. So let's go ahead and set this aside here. Next week, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and set this all aside here and close out with Montana cans. Now, <clears throat> I've been testing a lot of golds, believe it or not, uh, but I hadn't had a chance to try these out. You know, and generally golds are not my favorites. I often don't like the way they feel when you paint with them because they tend to be rather runny or they don't cover as good as the chromes do. But when they're on the wall, they look really, really nice. Now there's some other variations, you know, like copper, or bronze shades. I think Iron Lack has the uh, <clears throat> two cents, which is more of like a penny coppery color which is a really nice one too. I like the way that one lays out. Uh, but when you want a really gold gold, look no further because these shine like no other. They're actually shinier than the Molotov gold, which is pretty impressive. They paint really nice, they're smooth, they're clean. I can't say enough good things about them as an artist and as painting with them. Now here's the rub. Um, most golds don't weather well outdoors. So if you're gonna be painting something that's gonna be in a lot of sunlight, um, it might turn to bronze over time. It's, it's not uncommon. This is common for all golds. Now, I haven't tested that yet, so I don't know if that's the case with these ones. But, you know, chances are it, it's probably not going to be long-lasting in direct sunlight. Uh, but if you're doing a mural and it's not in direct sunlight all day, it's probably fine. Uh, canvas, it's fine. Things like that, it's perfectly fine. Or temporary artwork, if you will. I'm sure it'll be more than fine. Um, but keep that in mind, golds do tarnish. But I will say this, they were a dream to paint with. They are the sharpest, cleanest lines that I've ever gotten out of a gold color. Most golds are very runny. The flame orange gold, very, very runny. Not a fan. Um, although flame orange has some nice colors, they do. But these, these were awesome to paint with. And I'll definitely be using them again. But anyways, I guess that's pretty much all I got to say about them. Now the whites, I feel like we didn't get into the whites too much because we didn't have a whole lot of time and all we did was shines with them. So I think these cans are still really full. I think we should do another video with these. What do you guys think? Comment below. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. Real marble. <laughs> Hopefully my wife's not watching. Uh, but anyways, so let's go ahead and close out this video. And I just want to say thank you guys to all the people who've been watching my videos that have rode with me on this wild journey that we've been on. We're almost at 100,000 followers, which I can't believe. Um, 
we got to start being more professional about this. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll always have that flavor. But, you know, remember, this is an Art Primo video, so if you ever need graph supplies, be sure to always hit us up. Artprimo.com, 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 artprimo.com. We're your number one source for all things graffiti, art, street art, whatever it is you like to do. If you just want to throw paint on a wall, see what happens, we're the place to go to. But anyways, thank you very much, and if you ever need help, give us a call, 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, your number one source for all things art. See you later, guys. Love you.